Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here with another episode of Quantum Conundrum. So, I am standing currently on the other side of this laser wall. Uh, my earlier method was the easiest way to do it. Push the button, throw the boxes into the corner, throw the box into the corner. Uh, but, it took me several tries and I didn't feel like recording all of them. So, here we are on the other side. Let's see what the there is to see. The electromagnetic microreactors, or electromats if you're so inclined, what? will all require a conductive polycell. Uh... Okay, they'll need a... A, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> One of these things shoved in them? A safe? <laughs> what does this do? Oh, nope, that, I guess that's the polycell. <laughs> a science ball. Awesome. Gets poofy. Uh, it's made of metal. Well, let's make a poofy science ball. We'll put it on that one. And we'll put the safe on this one so I can use it to jump. And now we'll weigh them down. Hey there, bud. What are you doing there, Ike? And we jump. And we throw. Uh huh. That didn't work as planned. Give me a new science ball. I assumed we'd just be able to throw it in there. But, maybe that's not the case. So we push it down. We jump. We throw and we make it normal. Oh, we have to throw it in the top. Of course. Of course, the tops are open. Alright. Let's try again. And this time, let's not suck. Whoops. Yeah, you keep making fun of me there, Ike. Soon you get a ball dropped on your face. Make it heavy, make it light, grab it, chuck it. Oh, come on! Okay, one more time, and this time preferably without the sucking. Stay there. Shrink. Pop. Throw. There we go. Hoop did, he said. That thing's gone. Let's get another one. That was a pain in the butt, though. Come along there, science ball. I have need of you ahead. I also happen to be on the basketball team as well. Nice shot! A hoop. We got one more over there to get into. What happens if we turn metal on for him? Sweet, he gets a guitar. They really like the heavy metal, uh, thing here. I guess I don't need to bring these with me, because they just give me more, but... Why not, right? What have we got here? We got a, ooh, a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. A whole pile of springs. Am I supposed... what? Because this, none of these will go in there. They will fire up to me, though, I imagine. So let's see, what if we take a fluffy ball, we put it there, and we launch it. Yeah, that will go, ooh, hang on. That was sneakily hidden. I wonder if I can launch myself on this thing. That might be enough to grab that uh, plan up there. Bah. So I see you found another blueprint set. Well, check back in the research and development. There we go. That was pretty well hidden. Moment. Pretty well hidden. We'll have to heavy dimensions now available in the R&D lab. Good. We'll have to see if there's some other way we can uh, launch ourselves. Maybe if I fire another orb from this one. If it doesn't... Oh, it does destroy that orb. So that means I need the crate I left behind. Alright. Let's go back and grab the crate. Not because I want you, mind you, crate. But because I need ya. I need myself a super crate box. Yeah. Hang on. Can I just smash through this window? Yeah. Oh. Testing the fences. Apparently that was an achievement for smashing all the windows. 
Alrighty, so what we're gonna do here is... Oh, the ball fell down. We'll put this one here. I'll put this one... here. Well, I can stand on top of this. A launch. Oh no, it didn't fly high enough. That's no good. We need you to go higher there, ball. I put on the very back, maybe it'll launch higher. No, not quite. Hmm. I can't grab the thing I'm standing on, can I? No. Hmm. I wonder how else I could be supposed to do this. So I put on that one, it's not going to go far enough either. And there's no additional height between those two. So these are literally identical. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I got this. I don't need this thing. Oop. Poops. Let's grab it. Throw it off there. Don't need it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I do need it. I need it for this one. Uh, where did the crate go? There's another one. Okay. But yeah, so I was doing it backwards. Since the one on the angle fires just a little bit too low, if we jump on the one at an angle, we'll be in just about the right spot. So let's see. Stand on the crate and fire! Boop. Ah! But the concept is good. That seemed to have worked if I hadn't messed it up. So let's fire another one down here. Hey, what a shot that was! It landed right on the thing. Alright, let's see if I can do better this time. And we jump! There we go. Three power cylinders. Good stuff. That opens the door. Let's flip the lever. It's not science without leathers. Leathers? Levers. In that sector. A little further. <sighs> up, up. My head feels like I've been hit squarely by a two by four, and I still haven't regained my memory. <laughs> That's splendid. Well, I hope you regenerate so, soon. You need to be over by that blast door, but it looks like you're going to have to go through the object distribution system to get hmm. there. Doesn't sound good. A minor inconvenience. Watch it now. Ha ha. We got some lasers to jump over. Whoop. Jump. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. This is definitely <laughs> not the right place for you to You be. jump really fast when you jump on these things. Um, no, no thank you. Um, let's heavy world it so I can hide behind this one. Easy now. We jump over to this side. Light world it. Put it there and heavy world it again. Oop. There we go. Do I want to be here? No, I do not. I want to be up oh, on this side. That was close. And this is blocking the way now. Where'd it go? I don't know. Alright, well, we're going to a pit of doom. So it's time to jump. Whee! You need to jump really far off those things. Huh. I wonder what he's eating there. What, who's eating the Oh. There's Ike again. Alright. Up here. What does this lever do? Sure. Oh, it goes up instead of down. Put it back. Hmm, I can. Well, what's up? Let's see what's up and then we'll see what's down. Up. Up. Oh, I hit a laser. Dang it. You have died. Thing number 104 you will never experience. Looking back on this and laughing. Because you are dead. Yes, thanks for that game. Oof. Alrighty. Let's... I still want to try up. Sure. I like the look of up. 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 There's that. Can I see down there? Oh! Hello, chairs. Oh, man. Down has spinning platforms. Because I saw over the edge there for a second. Yeah, spinning platforms. Up has mashy platforms. 
can't fluffy eyes them either. That doesn't make any difference. Oh, run! Did they reconnect here? What? Where did the other one go? Oh, oh! The other one was a dead end. Good thing I picked up. What's around this way? Ooh! Jump! All right, well, I need one of these to jump across with. Uh, who is? Load it up. <sighs> Ooh. Well, that was, uh... Whee! I can jump off it. So, crate didn't make it up here, but I did. Oh! Hello, lasers. Um, duh! Uh. Oh, no! This is some tricky platforming on these, um... I grab one of those safes. On these accelerated platforms. Oof. Oh, that was that was trickier than I was expecting. Gotta jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down, as they say. Up we go! Oh no! What? Oh I forgot to make them heavy. Thing number eighty you'll never experience. Learning to identify things that will, in fact, kill you. At least it puts me back right here, so I can just do this last section again. That is a very friendly checkpoint. Alright, here we go. This time without the sucking! Bam! Awesome. Now, am I going to need these things, or are they just here already so I can use them? Looking like they're here already just so I can use them. What have we here? The generator room for this sector is Is it ahead. lovely? Hey, look at it this way. The worst that can happen is that you fail. You're right, that is pretty much the worst that can happen. You're so reassuring. Jerk. Alright. What's in here? What's in here? Fantastic, you made it. If you can get to the generator, I'll tell oh. you what to do. <laughs> this place is quite big. Is that the generator down there? Looks like it. Uh, well, I need to get out of here first, so let's smash some windows. Oh! Oh, man! For your general health and safety, I would recommend disabling... What?! Those. The switches for the laser beams should be up oh. there. Up oh. somewhere. Uh, that doesn't help me any. <laughs> the switches are up somewhere. Oh, lovely. Can I just lob some couches up here? No, I can't. Lob some... Couch. <laughs> I think I hear one of those annoying noisemakers. No, it's just that thing shooting. And throw! Ah! Poop. Okay, that didn't work. Thing number 377. You'll never experience having a midlife crisis. Oh no, I'm, I'm stuck down here. That's not very nice. How am I supposed to get anywhere with this? I can't go up. And there's nothing down. For your general health and safety, I would recommend. Well, maybe I can go up. Hang on. The switches for the laser beam. If I stay by the edge, I might be able to get up and use. Damn it! <laughs> use this as a shield. When the I'm stuck. Oh, come on! <sighs> Thing number 892 you'll never experience. The social pressure of, no of knowing which bands are right to like. Nickelback. Um... Okay, then. For your How my... health and safety, I would recommend disabling those. The switches for the laser beams should be up there. Somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to be able to get through here. If there's literally always lasers coming by. And I get stuck on this freaking post! Okay, there's no way to get up there. Thing number 212 you'll never experience, judging others for their choice of transportation. Vespa. Or... What's the name of the thing with the two wheels side by side? Segway, that's the one. If you tell me that the switch to turn them off is up there somewhere, I'm gonna punch you. Um, because I see there's a switch up there, I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get across to it. It must... 
must be something to do with using this as a shield and just sprinting up the hill. For your general health and safety, I would recommend disabling those. The switches for the laser beams should be up there. Somewhere. Oh! Come on now. Come on now. Almost there. Oh, that was unpleasant. And there's a fan here, too. That was unpleasant. Um... Can I just jump this? If I can't just jump this, I'm gonna be quite upset. Jeez. <laughs> Thing number 357 you will never experience. Growing old enough to realize that you are not special. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, I have a chair still. Maybe I can put the chair there? No! No, 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 no. Like that? If I have to go back and get more of this stuff... I'm not... Oh, my goodness! What? I think I actually have to climb up this thing while it's firing lasers. Oh, okay. Lasers off, thank you very much. Is that what that does? No. Oh, it turns them off one by one. Oh, okay. How many duck noises? Penguin noises. It was so safe where that was, though. <laughs> Alright. Alright. What have we got here? Bunch of crates. I guess we're making a bridge. I was right the first time. I just had the wrong method. So we'll take this one. You'll have to bridge the gap somehow since the scaffolding Yeah, collapsed. so we'll have to bridge the, the gap somehow. After you've just given us some crates. Boop. There's another one. And number three, fluffy crate. Come on now, we have a power generator to restore. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Back to normal world. Okay, it looks as if the motor has stopped. Hmm. You'll need Fan to get that too. arm rotating fast enough to reactivate the generator. Okay, we gotta rotate. Why? Is it? What's blinking? Something was blinking. All right. And by blinking, I mean making a blink sound. So I'm guessing this has something to do with, like, bicycling the pedal using the heavy and the light modes. So let's try. Yeah. That reminds me of the time when the DC voltage was offset by the C. Great. One down, two to go. <laughs> That's neat. Bling! Some of the lights are on. I guess it's kind of like a blueprint. Although, it seems like it's rumbling a bit. Time is cyclical, so I guess you can always just try again in 14 billion years, give or take. Oh! Well, I'd say that was a success. Oh! Holy dashund. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor with another episode of Quantum Conundrum. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.